Good morning from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. We're here with uh, with Mohammed from Huawei at Informa's LTE conference. Uh, Mohammed, you gave a, a talk this morning. Uh, for those uh, who didn't make it, can you please recap what what you were talking about? Okay, so uh, so we talked this morning. We talked about the uh, three major parts that will enable the mobile broadband. So the first one we talked about is the, uh, uh, the, the, the devices, which is transforming from voice to data. And this will really enable 50 times increase of the capacity. And not only that, also we talked about the 10 times increase in the number of devices. So basically you have a total increase rate of about 500 times over the next decade. So that's number one. And I talked also about the applications. Not only have we seen an increase of the number of applications, but what we, what we have seen also is lowering the barrier of creation and distribution of the application which really uh, changes our life, enriches our life. So that was the other thing. And the third thing I talked about is what are the challenges that the operator has right now when it comes to adopting mobile broadband and how Huawei is positioned to address these challenges. Some of them are related to flat ARPU, to high cost. Uh, some of them needs like single platform to enable any technology when it comes to uh, GSM, UMTS, LTE, and even when it comes to FDD and TDD technology. So to us, uh, the, the, the thing that we talked about is LTE or GSM or UMTS are just features of our product. It is not really a new product. So it's a mainstream product or platform that will enable this thing end to end. How are the trials going here in Brazil? Uh, well, you know, we have some numbers of trials here in Brazil. Uh, I do not have uh, up-to-date information. Uh, I just got to Rio uh, yesterday, but uh, uh, but I, I believe all of our trials, I, have ha I had a snapshot from our more than 100 trials all over the world. We always get to the uh, the, the highest performance of LTE given LTE network. So we're really leveraging the technology, we're leveraging the, uh, uh, what, uh, what the standard is given to LTE. So, What are the specific challenges in Latin America that Huawei has discovered? Okay, so when it comes to uh, Latin America, I guess it's about the, uh, it is not just for Latin America, it's generally all over the world. So you have a lot of spectrum bands. You have a lot of technologies. Uh, operators are really confused about the business model. It's about ROI and ARPU. It's about the uh, service provider, content provider. They own 70% of the traffic, but yet the operator is not getting anything from them. So it's about adjusting the business plan. We're doing a lot of business consulting with them in how to do LTE go to market. So it is not a technology problem, it is not a solution problem, it is all about how to get into the technology, make money, uh, enable this huge demand of capacity, uh, uh, increase the ARPU, and at the same time, which is very important, contain your costs. 